we're going to do a prop repair using the second generation HTS 735. What we've done is clean the paint off with a wire brush. We've also ground the edge of the repair at an angle so that accommodates more surface for us to bond to. Now I've also clamped just a regular steel scraper. Any kind of flexible steel will work here fine because the product will not stick to the steel and we can use it as a backing in the repair. I'm just going to heat this up, put a layer of rod on the edge, and then make a big puddle of molten rod out here. So um, I am heating this surface now. I want to get to 735 degrees. That's where the rod melts. It's very simple to do this process. Just heat, move the heat a little away a little bit and check just like striking a match. So every single time we use the rod, we just make sure we keep the rod out of the flame, ensuring that the aluminum is hot. We've been heating this for about three minutes. You can see I'm starting to flow rod now, so we're at 735 degrees. Going to raise the heat up a little bit. Close enough, I'm still melting rod, but far enough away that I'm not overheating the aluminum. And I'm going to tin the edge of this with the rod. Just, just means I'm putting a thin layer right on the edge. Now I've got a nice face to start with, and I can just melt rod right onto the uh, metal backing of that scraper. I'm going to raise the heat up even more now. At this point, I just want to add rod to rod and build this up. I'm going to let it cool a little bit so that I can have a base to build. Okay, so this repair took us three minutes to get the temperature to 735 degrees so that we could start melting rod. And then from that point, we tinned and built up the area out over the metal backing. That took an additional five minutes. So we've got about eight minutes in the repair just in working the product. Now we're gonna let this cool, remove the backing. Now we've let this cool, I've got one clamp off. And you can see that the backing is already coming away. Take the second clamp off, the backing falls away just like that. Again, this is the ref repair. It's just finished cooling. We're going to take it to the grinder and finish it off. We have our finished product. What I did was I cut a template out of some light cardboard using a full blade as uh, to outline. This way I know exactly how much material to take off. So here is my repaired blade. It's the front side, the back side. You can see this is the this is rod material that we added here to, to affect the repair. The whole repair was about 30 minutes. Used a little less than one rod of material. This was all done with just a propane torch. That's HTS 735 second generation aluminum repair rod. Could save you hundreds of dollars in repair.